starting out with my half a cup of water and I'm putting it into a saucepan over medium high heat. And I'm gonna add my two sticks of butter into the saucepan and bring it to a boil. In the meantime, I'm gonna put all my dry ingredients into a large bowl. Let me get my recipe out here. I'm gonna start with my flour. And there's two and a half cups of flour. I don't level it off all the way, I just kind of shake it until it looks about even. Maybe a little bit mounted on the top, but that's okay. So two and a half. And then one teaspoon of salt, or half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of baking powder. So here's my baking powder. And I do level this off just because my lid broke. And a half a teaspoon of salt. And then stir the dry ingredients. Together. And then we'll wait for the water to come to a boil and then we'll combine it. Okay, the butter is boiling. There are no solid pieces visible, and I'm just going to pour straight in to the flour mixture. And stir until it's completely combined. I don't want any pieces of, or any flour showing. You see my bowl it has come away from the bowl it's not really even sticking to the spoon and then you're going to get a piece of parchment paper so it's it transfers easily get your parchment paper out and I'm just going to divide mine into two I'm only making one double pie press so this you can get four out of it but um, and it will feel greasy you can see that my hands are covered kind of mold it into a ball a little bit It's not sticking to my rolling pin. Filling out very easily. Get it to the desired thickness. I get it all down in the pan. I can easily just press it together. The crust is very forgiving, so even up here where there's splits, I get try and get all the air bubbles out. I can just squish it together. I already have my filling made. I made apple pie filling, so I'm just going to pour that in. Okay, so 
set it on top. Your pie. Then I'm just going to go around and tear off the extra that I'm not going to need. You can use a knife. I just find it faster and easier to pull off with my hands. And then I tuck. everything under. And now I'm just going to start going around and crimping the edges. And this will seal the top and the bottom crest together. It's ready to go in the oven.